Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to a brand new video. Hopefully you guys are all doing well today. In today's video, we're going to be discussing an upcoming open world game that is being created by one of the original creators of the Grand Theft Auto series. Now, Grand Theft Auto is, of course, one of the biggest successes in gaming franchise history. Grand Theft Auto V, and specifically GTA Online, have been hits for many years now ever since they came out all the way back in 2013, with consistent growth and really good player numbers despite the game being almost 10 years old. So today we're going to be discussing everything we know so far about the upcoming open world game known as Everywhere, which is a free mode open world adventure game that is being created by one of the original creators of the Grand Theft Auto series. Now before we get into that, make sure to drop a like rating on this video to share your support, as well as subscribe down below for more daily videos just like this. But first off, here is today's shoutout of the day, and Rafat went to the actual video. Now today's shoutout goes to a really awesome YouTube channel known as Tarkshia Pictures. Now Tarkshia Pictures is a really awesome YouTube channel that is focused on travel vlogs, filmmaking, photography tutorials, and everything in between. He uploads some incredible vlogs from different countries all around the world with some of the best cinematography work that I've seen in quite a while. When I think of a vlog, I usually think about somebody that's just holding up a camera to their face the entire time with minimal editing, but with this channel, he really takes things to the next level with some incredible cinematography, really awesome editing, as well as a great soundtrack throughout the video to wrap things up. Make sure to click the first link in the description down below to subscribe to Tarkshia Pictures on YouTube today for some of the best vlogs on the platform. But with that being said, and without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into this video. Now I think it goes without saying that Rockstar Games hit GTA V completely out of the park. They did an incredible job with the single player campaign, an even better job supporting GTA Online with new content and DLC throughout the years. We have a new DLC coming up this summer, which is expected to be really, really awesome, and Rockstar overall has done an incredible job supporting the GTA community, implementing player feedback, and overall just making the game an absolute pleasure to play. However, one of the former producers of the GTA series has started his own developing and publishing company, and it is working on a brand new open world game that is going to be a competitor to the GTA series. Leslie Benzies was one of the original Rockstar employees and a producer on every single GTA game, including GTA V. Leslie was the main producer for all of these games, which means that he oversaw the development, the overall playstyle, the storyline, and really everything in between, which means that he can be credited for a lot of the work and a lot of the ideas that went into the GTA series over the years. Now Leslie's time at Rockstar unfortunately came to a bitter end when he left the company back in 2016 and ended up suing Rockstar for $150 million for unpaid royalties. The court case was settled, however the case is confidential, so we don't know exactly what was settled. It is likely that Rockstar did pay him at least somewhat for the unpaid royalties that he was claiming, but nonetheless he did end up leaving the company, and a couple of years later he did start his own development and game publishing company known as Build a Rocket Boy. Build a Rocket Boy is an entirely new company that is completely managed by Leslie, and right now they are working on one project and one project only, which is a game known as Everywhere. We don't know whether Everywhere is going to be the official name of the game or whether it's a public codename for the project, but it is going to be a full-scale open world game similar to the GTA series. Now, unlike the GTA series, Leslie does say that Everywhere is going to be very similar in a lot of ways, but also different in the fact that it is going to take place in the future instead of the present. Now, it is worth noting that it will be the near future, not the far future, which means that there's not going to be aliens and spaceships everywhere. However, there will be some pretty cool technology that may not exist currently in the world. So it's going to be a little further in the future of the GTA series, however it's probably not going to be anything too crazy such as cyberpunk. According to Leslie, everywhere is going to take place in a world similar to what is shown in the movie known as Ready Player One. 
So if you've seen that movie or if you haven't, look up some pictures on Google, see what it's about, and that should give you a good idea of what the game is going to look like. It's also worth noting that Everywhere is going to be considered a AAA game, which means that it's going to be on par with the best games out there, including Grand Theft Auto and the many others out there. Now there have been a good bit of unverified leaks regarding the storyline and more details about the game, however like Rockstar they've been doing a really good job keeping the details private and making sure that nothing is being leaked to the public. Now right now they have about 200 employees working at Build a Rocket Boy and that is compared to about 5,000 employees at Rockstar. So there definitely is quite a difference between Rockstar and Build a Rocket Boy, however it's worth noting that Build a Rocket Boy is a brand new company and considering that they're a brand new company that has not published any games yet, 200 employees is quite a bit. Now there haven't been any concrete rumors surrounding when the game is likely going to be revealed, however the closest information that we have at the moment is that it will be revealed sometime later this year in 2022. Now this is really interesting because GTA 6 is also expected to be revealed later this year. So it's going to be super interesting to see whether one game will be revealed before or after the other and also how the reveal dates work out to each other because I'm sure that both companies don't want them over overlapping with each other. Now it's also worth noting that Everywhere is not going to be a direct competitor with GTA 6. They will be competitors in the sense that they're both open world games and they're both AAA titles, however I feel that each will have its own space. GTA 6 will be the realistic open world version of real life, and then on the other hand, Everywhere is likely going to be a more futuristic version, similar to what we've seen with Cyberpunk where it's an open world futuristic game that takes place in the future rather than the present. So I personally am really really excited for both of these games, and I cannot wait until both of these are revealed. I personally think that we need a better selection of open world games with large maps and AAA style production. GTA is obviously the leader in this entire segment, however I feel like there is room for a competitor, and everywhere seems to be exactly that. But let me know in those comments down below, would you prefer to play an open world game that is based in the present and real life, or would you rather play something that is a little bit more in the future and has some futuristic elements to make it different? Myself personally, I definitely prefer the realism of the GTA series, but I also think that Everywhere is going to be able to stand its own ground and have a very good fan base, especially if it lives up to everything that we've been hearing so far. But let me know all your thoughts and opinions in those comments down below because I really want to hear from you guys. I'll make sure to leave a link to the Everywhere website in the description down below. There isn't much information on there at the moment, however you can follow them on social media to stay updated with the latest and also do note that they are hiring a ton of different positions. So if you're in the gaming industry, especially if you're a talented graphic artist, designer, developer, anything along those lines, make sure to check out their website to see all their job postings. It's a really interesting company with a really cool project, so definitely be sure to check them out and follow them on social media to stay updated on the latest. But either way, if you enjoyed today's video and you like staying updated on the latest news surrounding the GTA series and also everywhere, let me know by dropping a like rating on this video as well as subscribe down below if you haven't already with those notifications on so you're always notified whenever I upload a brand new video. But either way, thank you again so much for tuning in today, I really do appreciate it, and I'll see you tomorrow with another video just like this. But until then, have an awesome night, I'll be sure to talk to you guys then.